we are going to see about the processing of linen in this manufacturing process of linen the production and processing of linen now we are going to see how the processing can be carried out the first process is sowing flax linen plant grows in fertile well drained soil after deep plowing sowing is done very early in the morning and then next process is harvesting harvesting can be done manually or by machine and then the next process is stoking in this process the harvested plants are tied into bundles and to dry and then the next process is rippling this process is used to deseed the flax and then next process is rating in this process the fibers are loosened from the outer woody stalk and then the next process is breaking breaking is used to break up the inner woody stalk into smaller pieces scutching the next process is scutching scutching in this scutching process knife is used to scrap it and pulls away the shives and then next process is combing to increase the fineness this process can be done spinning the next process is spinning ribbon like linen make into a yarn and then weaving process in this weaving process the flax threads are interlaced to form the linen fabric and then bleaching the linen fabric is bleached and then dyed next we are going to see about the processing how it can be carried out this picture shows that how the flax plant looks like now we are going to see about what is linen linen is made from the fibers of stem from flax plant and it belongs to a group of natural cellulose fiber known as bast fiber the planting is done in march to april pale blue flowers appear blue flowers appear in june and harvested in july to august after 90 to 120 days of sowing plants attain a height of 2 to 4 feet mature plants turn to yellow if the stalks are green the fiber is underdeveloped and on the other hand once the stalks turn brown fiber begin to degrade and then this picture shows that how harvesting takes place harvesting can be done manually or by machine the plant is pulled up completely with the roots this ensure maximum fiber length is possible and then stoking stoking is the process to dry it was bundled together and tied these bundles are called beads the flax is dried evenly was laying it out in the sun the sun higher quality turns into white and lesser turns brownish this picture shows how stoking process can be carried out next process this picture shows that how the flax plants are pulled through this process is called rippling the top end of the dry bundles of flax are pulled through nails hammered into a board like a comb the seeds are collected below the sheets and then the next process is is rippling 
in rippling the top end of the dry bundles of flax are pulled through nails hammered into a board like a comb the seeds are collected below the sheets retting is the process in which the fibers are loosened from the outer woody stalk by removing the gummy substance which hold the fiber together stalks are tied into bundles this process this picture shows that how the pond retting can be carried out there are more types of retting process now we are going to see about the types of retting process first process is dew or field retting it is the most consuming process which takes 4 to 6 weeks it employs the use of dew sunlight and rain result may not be uniform but the fibers are strongest and durable this process produces the least pollution pool or pond retting bundles are placed in clean stagnant water it requires 2 to 4 weeks from the bacteria in water to hydrolyze the gummy substances changes of over retting which can be damage the fiber and the product can become dirty due to stagnant water a strong odor is also produced and then chemical retting in this chemical retting stalks are boiled in dilute sulfuric acid sodium hydroxide or sodium carbonate and then steamed least time is required but the use of chemical reduce the fiber strength this picture shows that how the breaking process can be carried out in this breaking process once the fibers are loosened by retting the process of breaking is used to break up the inner woody stalk into smaller pieces so that it is separated from the flax this is done by putting handfuls of flax into the wooden blades of a breaking machine and beating the flax from the bottom of the stalk to the top the broken wooden fragments called shells fall through the fiber to the ground and then the next process is scutching in the scutching process the knives are used to scutching process the broken shells that cannot fall to the ground must be scutched out this is done by swing a wooden scutching knife down the flax which scraps it and pulls away the shives that remains and then next process is hacking or combing in this hacking or combing the scutched fibers are pulled through a seri- series of iron combs of increasing fineness it achieves a gloss and suppleness which make it ideal for spinning this picture shows that how the spinning process is carried out in the spinning operation constantly pulls and elongates the ribbon like linen until it is given its final twist for strength and wound on the bobbin next process is weaving in weaving the flax threads or yarns are interlaced to form a linen fabric and then the next process is bleaching in bleaching linen is naturally tan color which is then blended white after bleach it is dyed with any color this picture shows that how the linen fabric can be made now we are going to see about the end use of linen end use of the linen is bed linen bath linen 
table linen, kitchen linen. These are the byproducts of linen. Now we are going to see about the characteristics of linen. It is comfortable to wear and good strength and it is easy for hand wash or dry cleaning and it is well absorbency of dyes and prints and it varies from light weight to heavy weight and it lowers the body temperature these are the characteristics of linen now we are going to see about the physical properties of linen tensile strength tensile strength is very good and then the next one is elastic recovery it does not stress easily and then color Linen fiber is yellowish to grey in color. Length. The length of the fiber is 18 to 30 inch length. Lusher. It looks slightly silky. Moisture regain. It has standard moisture regain. These are the physical properties of linen. Okay. Thank you.